Hey guys, Deviator here with part 5 for the portal gun. In this section we're going to go over fixing a few issues we've run into. If you hop into the game real quick, um, you can see when you start shooting and spawning your portals, um, the first thing that uh, you'll notice is you can make several copies of each portal. Um, another major issue is if you shoot a bunch of portals real fast, what happens is they end up colliding and throwing the player into the teleport stage. Um, and that's something we need to fix as well. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of spawning um, multiple portals of the same kind. So we're just going to start in the projectile class. I'm just going to start with blue projectile. Go ahead and open that up. Um, right here off of event hit, I'm going to disconnect that for the time being. And I'm going to grab a node called get all actors of class. And so with this blue projectile, what we're doing is we're spawning a blue portal. So we need to find all the actors of blue portal. We need to get those. And then what we want to do is destroy those actors. So we're going to use destroy actor. Plug that in like that and we'll plug this destroy actor into the previous one and I'm just gonna copy those three nodes real quick hit save hop over to red projectile and we'll just paste those in here and we're gonna change that actor from blue portal to red portal and I'll just hit save real quick and if you hop back in the game you can see now uh, when you spawn your portals you're only gonna spawn one of each so the next thing we want to do is take care of that uh, collision issue um, there's a few things we're gonna do to fix that uh, the first being in the projectiles blueprints we're just gonna hop back in here and off of this event hit um, what we're gonna do actually we're gonna leave that plugged in how it was no we're not we're gonna come off of other and we're gonna choose get class and then we wanna do class is child of and we want to do we're using the first person uh, shooter template so I'm gonna pick my character because that's the name of my character controller if you're using your own game type you wanna choose the name of your character controller um, so what we're gonna do now this node is actually gonna return a bool so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna pick branch and what we're doing here is we're detecting what we're hitting so we're grabbing the object that we hit and we're saying is this a class of uh, my character if it is we don't want to do nothing or we we want to do nothing sorry if it's false if it's not the player then we want to continue through our process of spawning the portal so we're gonna just grab those three nodes copy them save this quick and we're just gonna hop into our red projectile and I'm just gonna paste those in here real quick object gets hooked to other branch and false is going to get connected to get all actors of class I'm gonna compile and save that real quick uh, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop into the blueprints for our portals. I'll just open up blue portal here real quick. Um, so off of begin overlap, uh, what we need to do is we also need to make a check here. So I'm just going to choose get class, excuse me, off of other actors, get class, and class is child of and this is going to return a bool as well 
and we'll just do branch. I guess we could have just copied and pasted that there. Um, and this is going to be my character or the name of your player controller. Um, the th off of this one, though, we want to do true. We want to make sure that um, it's only the player um, that is touching for the portals. And we're going to go into um, components here. And we're going to go to our root. And we're going to set our collision. We're going to change it from overlap all dynamic to overlap only pawn. And I'll just compile and save that quick. And I'll hop into our red portal. And we will do the same thing here. Object to other. Uh, true off of branch to branch. Components. And we'll change our collision again to overlap only pawn. Compile and save. And we'll hop back into our game here. And see how that works out. And you can see that's working out pretty good um, when we shoot a bunch of uh, portals. Uh, we're not having that issue anymore. Um, there are a few other issues um, that we'll go over in the following videos. Uh, one video that I'll be uploading soon here will be setting up the cameras so you can look through one portal and see out the other.